I was raised as a missionary kid in Canada, Central Africa, and Central Europe. I don't think I could have had a better childhood. I loved meeting new people all the time, getting to serve with my parents, traveling to new places, and creating community with other missionary families. I was introduced to so many different cultures, worldviews, and life experiences while I was growing up that by the time I was in junior high, I was already being described as someone who was mature for my age. But I eventually started struggling with my mental and my physical health. When I was 14, I became depressed for the first time in my life. I felt guilty for having intrusive thoughts or being depressed because I felt like I had no excuse or reason to. I could not ask for anything better in my life, so why was I so miserable? I would surrender my pain and would cry out to God over and over again for help. But over and over again, I watched God answer everybody else's prayers except mine. So I became bitter. I still had a growing relationship with God and was deeply involved in ministry, but I was cynical about grace and believed that God could do miraculous things like heal people, but he wouldn't. And obviously God is perfect and I kept surrendering my brokenness to God, but it wouldn't go away. That means that whatever was wrong must be something wrong with me. This warped view of surrender and grace has continued until this day. I only realized that I had such a broken perspective on grace when I moved to college. Like every other transition I've ever experienced, I not only had to unpack all of my things I brought with me, but all of my thoughts and my hurts as well. The beautiful thing about grace is that it isn't dependent on me. God has patiently been teaching me about grace my whole life, and I still don't understand it, but He gives it to me. He's shown me that I can live a life that is glorifying to Him, even if I will always struggle with my mental health. God does not require a clean slate in order to use us in His plan. And even if God never answers my prayers, or rather, gives me the answer that I want, his grace is made perfect in my weakness.